as proposed by the governor, he would have $200 million or so available for incentivizing uh, cooperative arrangements between uh, governmental units. And actually, I think he's got three different portions. A, par a third of that it has to do with incentivizing uh, in partnerships. In terms of affecting Meridian Township, there are, there's two sources of revenue sharing. One uh, from the sales tax, which we call constitutionally mandated, and then another part that comes from an appropriation from the legislature, we call that statutory. Currently, Meridian Township doesn't receive any statutory revenue sharing. And based on that, at least under the governor's proposal, we would not be eligible for any additional revenue sharing coming from joining services with our partner communities. That being said, Meridian Township is continuing to look at ways to be more efficient and to reduce our costs. So that's not actually going to slow us down in, in uh, looking at ways to work with other, other uh, governmental units. City of East Lansing, on the other hand, would have an incentive, and so and so would the City of Lansing. So from that vantage point, it may make it uh, easier for us to work with those two governmental units because they have incentives. That statutory revenue sharing was there in the first place was to replace other revenue that was taken away from the townships and cities, and they replaced it with this statutory revenue sharing. Well. Because of term limits and other things, the people, the legislators that were involved in that trans that uh, transaction years ago are no longer around. So the new legislature just sees, oh, legislators see, oh, this revenue sharing, we can cut it. So uh, that being aside, I think the idea of of uh, encouraging local governments to work together is is a positive one, and I think that again, Meridian Township is has been uh, very aggressive in working with our, our neighbors to either provide a service or work in tandem. The state's fiscal year starts October 1 for 2012, so they call it 2011-2012. Right now we're in 2010-2011 for the state budget. So as early as October 1st of this year, the incentivized revenue sharing could be um, applicable and, and be uh, provided to those governmental units that, that uh, qualify. And what the governor has said is, from his vantage point, it would be to begin with an honor system. So there's a transparency element, there's the 20% cost sharing of health insurance premiums, and then there's the working together. And all three of those make up you know, the things that a governmental unit would have to do in order to get the uh, uh, additional revenue sharing, this incentivized revenue sharing. And if I understood it right, you can do one or two or all three of them and you'd get proportionally more depending on how many of those you're making efforts to attain. And it would be an honor system to start with. I think that the fact that, that local governments school districts in, in cities, townships, and villages in the state are being squeezed, particularly revenue-wise, is going to impact the services that we are uh, providing. And so it's going to have, I think we're all concerned about what's going to happen to the services. Again, you know, we've had to adjust to reductions in the past, but I, I can appreciate what the governor's trying to do in terms of incentives to work together and uh, provide more efficient services to all of our citizenry. So I, I can appreciate that.